The scene of the crime is presented by Billy Johnson Jr., attorney at law. Today on the scene of the crime, we take a look back at three local cases we covered earlier in the year that remain unsolved. We're looking to you, the community, to provide authorities with any information you have about these cases. First, the case of Larry Hinkle. In July of this year, Hinkle was killed in a hit and run in T-Berry in Floyd County. On Saturday, July 1st, 2017, at approximately uh, 10 p.m., uh, Mr. Larry Hinkle, who was 60 years of age from uh, the T-Berry area of Floyd County, uh, was walking on the shoulder of uh, Kentucky 979. Uh, shortly after 10 p.m. at some point, an unidentified vehicle uh, struck Mr. Hinkle and he sustained fatal injuries. Uh, at this point, uh, the vehicle and the operator remain unidentified. If you have any information, something big, something small, a name, a location, video, anything, uh, Post 9, Detective Phillips is the detective on the case. An older case that remains unsolved is that of Joel and Herbert Witten, father and son, who were killed in a double homicide in 1998 in Johnson County. It was a residence that sat by itself. It's well off the road. Not many people knew where it was at. But we'd received a call. Uh, a girlfriend of one of the victims had called uh, the post or 911 here. Uh, ultimately, you know, the, our agency ended up up there, and there were, you know, both victim, victims, Herbert and Joel Witten. The son was found outside. I think he was kind of like face down, and the father was located at the foot of the steps at the residence. Finally, there's the 2009 missing persons case of Crystal Branham Hall. Hall was 24 years old when she was last seen at her sister's house in March 2009 on Kentucky Avenue here in Pikeville. She hasn't been heard from since. Well, honestly, I'm 74 years old, and I would like to know before anything happens to me. And hopefully this year on here, we'll get some people thinking and maybe can tell us something. And I want to thank everybody. If you have any information about any of these cases, please contact Kentucky State Police Post 9 at the number on your screen. Reporting in Pikeville, I'm Polly Hopkins for EKB News.